I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. My little boy and I were out riding our bikes and we saw a lemonade stand. The sign said one dollar. He said, no thank you, that is way too expensive. Then we talked about it. I explained that when there's only one lemonade stand, they can charge whatever they want. If you want lemonade, that's what you pay. But when someone else shows up, we have capitalism. Then several things happen. First, prices come down into line with the competition. Then innovation kicks in. If it's cheaper to make the lemonade, you can lower the price and still make money. Then the other stand might decide to specialize. Maybe they'll offer strawberry lemonade. That sounds good. And it means we continually get lower prices and more variety. And it all works great unless the government decides to get involved and that, that changes everything. That upsets the lemonade cart. Government makes the apparent cost look cheap by hiding the real cost in your taxes where you can't sort it out. They promise lemonade for everybody, whether you can afford it or not, which really means taking money from you to buy somebody else's lemonade. That makes it impossible for the other stands to compete. They depend on attracting people. The government depends on taxing people. So there's no competition. Innovation and variety go away. and. Then something else happens. In order to offer lemonade to everybody, even if people can't afford it, now the government has to mandate that everybody buy lemonade. And if you don't buy it, they'll tax you for being thirsty. And that is how lemonade stands work. We're not really talking about lemonade, are we?